Hey guys, it's Miss Richards and Miss Miller. Today we're talking about simple interest. So we're finally in the last unit of our curriculum. Woof woof! Almost there. So we're gonna talk about simple interest, compound interest, we're gonna compare interest, and we're gonna talk about cost of college, and then we are done and we're moving on to star review. So simple interest. There's a few definitions that we need to know before we can move on to calculating the interest. So the first definition is what is interest? Um, so if you go to the bank and you're like, hey, I want to build a house and you ask to borrow money, they're not just going to give you the money. They're going to give it to you, but they're also going to make you pay more than that amount. So a good definition would be the amount paid on a loan. Or if you're putting it in to something, you could earn money. So you could earn interest on something for the use of money. Okay, principal. Oh, can we also say what letter we use for interest? Oh, yes. We use we I, capital I. I. Okay. Principal. This is money deposited into, into an account or borrowed on a loan. Money deposited? Mm -hmm. Deposited or borrowed. borrowed. So this is like your starting amount, the amount you start with. Then you have your interest rate. This is always, always going to be in a percent. Oh, and principal's a uh, capital P. Did I not make it capital? Probably not. It looks like it's, it's a lowercase. Just a baby P. And this is little r, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, little r. Okay, interest rate. So again, this is a percent. So we have to make it a decimal. Decimal. Um, and the percent of it of the principal paid. Percent. Or earned per year. Principal paid or earned. Mm -hmm. Paid or earned per year. Ooh, per. Multiply. Okay, balance. This is the total in the account. So, aka, this is your principal plus your interest, so your P plus your I. So if it asks, what's the total in the account? You have to take your principal plus your interest earned. So it's kind of a two-step situation. Can we use letter A for it? I don't know how to spell interest. Can we interest. What? Can we use letter A for it because of compound? Hmm? Okay. Capital A. It's so awkward. It's very weird. It makes no sense. I usually have my kids change it to a capital T, but it is A on your formula chart. Okay. Okay. So here's a simple interest formula. It is found on your formula chart. So if you look at your formula chart, it's way, way down here at the bottom because it doesn't really fit in anywhere. And uh, we've got simple interest and compound interest. So we're talking about simple right here. Here it is. I equals PRT. And remember when all the letters are squished together like that? You that means multiply. Multiply. Okay. So, so here we go. I we just talked about means interest. The interest. So if we're trying to find calculate the interest, we use this formula. P is our principal. So remember that's your starting amount. R. Now they did a capital R. Yeah, we're it's, marking it out. It's a lowercase R. And they all happy with the caps lock there, and lowercase D. Okay. So then R is your interest rate. Remember, it's going to be percent, but you have to make it a decimal. As a decimal. Yes. And then T is time. The time has to be in years. So if they give you months, you have to convert it to Two. years. Well, let's just dive right in. Let's try problem number first. You good. Thanks, Josh. You put $5,000 in an account with an... 1.5% interest, simple interest rate. After 14 years, how much interest will you have in the account? Then find the new balance in mm -hmm. the account. Okay, so what I make my kids do is go through and label all of those things with either a P, an R, or a T. So we're going to start with P. That's always going to be your biggest number in your problem. That's your starting amount. So 5,000 is our biggest number. It's usually it's going to be money. So you, that's P is always money. Okay. Then my percent is always the rate. That's always the rate. 
And then we have simple. 14 years. Oh, we need to underline simple. T. You need to underline simple. Yeah, so like today we're doing simple every single time. We're going to learn compound tomorrow. And so there's different types. So you either need to highlight, underline, circle the word simple or compound in your problem. So we have our P, our R, and our T. And we're looking for. And we want to find interest first. Well, lucky us, we have the handy dandy formula, which is I, I equals, equals PRT. Beautiful. So we're going to write the formula I equals PRT. And then we're going to do underneath it P equals $5,000. R equals 1.5%. Now remember, 1.5% is not a number. So we've got to change it into a fraction or decimal i always say do whatever number this is and put it over 100 because some people have a little trouble doing the herndon calls it the booty cheek method or the we call it dr pepper dr pepper slide over your decimal it's moving your decimal over twice but some of us when we get a little confused so i just always say take whatever number it is put it over 100 and then your time it's already in years so we can just write 14 then I'm going to go to Desmos and plug all this in, just like what we did with surface area and volume. Yes. I do it. I do it. Okay. So she's going to plug the formula in. I equals PRT. Make sure you pay attention to your caps and lowercase. Oops, it won't work. So then our interest is 1050 so if I put $5,000 in an account for 14 years with a 1.5% interest rate, I will earn, earn $1,050. So that's the interest. But it also said, what's the balance in the account? So, so I earned that, total. but I put in $5,000. So now I've got to take my interest plus my one plus my $5,000. Total, right? Total. So... Interest. I, interest plus, plus P. They're both money. That's how I know to add them. True that. Both I'm money. Sometimes. Just comes to you. Sometimes it's, <laughs> I'm just smart. Sometimes other days I'm not. Bam. Ba bam. So there's the interest. There's the total. And you got to be careful. Like this one asked for both of them. On star, it's going to ask for one of them. It's either going to ask for the interest it's, or it's going to ask for the total amount in the account. So make sure you know which one. Or not ask for right or anything. I'll double check. I don't think so. Okay, let's try number next. You take out a $20,000. Wow, it's a big number. And it's money, so I know it's my principal. principal. Well, we don't really know that technically. I know it. We know because we have the answer key. <laughs> and there's only three things. There's a percent and then six years. But we don't know if it's going to ask for principal unless we read the question ahead of time. That's true. Okay. We're talking about simple interest, so that's how we know. Um, if the interest rate is 5%, so that's my R. Oh, my Atlantis. Oh, my goodness. Ms. I Richards. didn't do it. She did. I saw her. And it takes six years. Well, we're already in years, so there's my time. Pay up a loan. How much interest? So here it's only asking for one thing. So again, I'm looking for interest, which on my formula chart, I equals PRT. So now underneath here, I'm going to write what P equals, what R equals, and what T equals. So P is my $20,000. Rate is 5 over 100. Right. Yeah, make it a decimal. Yes, ma'am. And time is 6. Six years. And decimos. Decimos. I bet you I know the answer. Okay, so P. I bet you I know the 20, answer. 20,000. I bet you I know the answer. Um, and sometimes people try to put commas into Desmos. Do we ever do that? No, we don't put commas. Well, look, it gives us an error. Don't do it. Commas are bad. And then This isn't writing class. Five over 100 and time was six. My answer is? Six thousand. Six thousand dollars. And do I have to go and add my principal back in? No, because we just want interest. Oh, I just wanted to know the amount of money I earned off the $20,000, not the total amount in the account. Okay. Number next. Okay, so find the amount of simple interest, highlight, underline, circle, earned in each account. So, it, oh, look how big Look, it already listed it beautiful. for us. Beautiful. $800, Ooh. except interest rate still in a percent. Let's change so it for them. So, P, R, so divide by 100. There we go. And then 18 months. Can we Ooh. use months? Hold on. I put a capital R. That's not right. 
Miss Richards. T. Oh, no. We, so we Lower have to divide it by 12, seven. right? Why 12? Where'd you get 12? There's 12 months in a year. Oh, you're so smart, Miss Richards. Today I am. Today I'm feeling <laughs> it, guys. Okay, so I'm. she's going to write her formula, too. But we already have it in Desmos, so I'm going to leave it. There, I wrote it. Okay, so I've got... I do it, I do it. 800. I'm smart today. Today I'm feeling it, guys. Richards is on it. Oops. Whoa, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Not today. Not. And then 18 divided by 12. And I get... 36. Interest is $36. So easy. Easy. Is that, that's always asking, right? Yep. Okay. No one's asking for the total. Number next. Number next. Principal is P. Principal. Interest rate, we got to put it over. 100. And then 25 years. Already, already in years. years. So let's... Uh, let me grab my formula. Yep. Don't forget that formula. So... Oh, Miss Miller got this one. 0. 0.5. Miss Miller got this one. Is she going to get it? Oh, she's... She, I she, got, got, this it. Up, got, I got it. Got it. <laughs> 562 dollars and 50 cents. Banking. I wish. That's not <laughs> a lot of money that you earned. In 25 years, yeah. that's right. Yeah, don't, <laughs> that's really not. <laughs> don't do not do it, guys. <laughs> don't fall for that one. Okay. Um, find the amount of simple interest simple. paid on the loan. And then find the total. Total. It always says total. So that's why on your formula chart, I make you change it to a T. Um, amount you paid. So first, let's do our labeling. So I borrow $500. That's a P. That's my principal. That's the initial amount. Then my interest rate is 8%. That's an R. That's an R because it's always the percent. And then after two years, that's my time. And that's it's already in years. Simple. And so what is the simple interest you will pay? And then how What's much? our formula? Oh, I equals PRT. I equals PRT. Oh, I test. So you want me to list it all now? Yep. P is 500. R is, oh, I know, 8 over 100. I can't write this small. Zoom. Eight over one hundred, and T was two. Two. That's the most. You could have just deleted the four. Okay. Sass is real. No, okay. it's not. Eighty. So I will pay eighty dollars in interest if I borrow fifty dollars. And then. Total in all. Total. So I've got to take total how much I borrowed, which, which is, is five hundred principal plus my interest, which was eighty, which gives me total. So five hundred plus eighty equals five eighty. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I wouldn't mind paying eighty dollars in interest for that. Very worse, for sure. Okay. Number one. Janelle put the $200 get, or the $200 she got for her birthday in a bank account Ooh. with a 5% Pink. simple R. interest simple. rate. If she leaves money in the account for three years, how much interest will she have earned? So I equals PRT, and we have our P. We have our R. And we have our T, which is three. That's Look how easy this is. Just don't get confused on the formulas because there's two interest mm -hmm. formulas. Very true. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Ooh. Do I need to add that to the two hundred? No, because it just wants interest. Ooh. So if it said what's the total amount? It's not asking total though. Then I would do two thirty. It's not asking total. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. Number next. TJ. Oh. TJ should get a loan for $2,525. Principal. That's what we're starting with. The simple, simple interest rate on the loan was 7%. R. If he takes if it takes him two years T. to pay off the loan, how much interest I. will TJ have paid? So I equals P R T. We have P, which is 2, 5, 2, 5. We have a rate, which is 7 over 100. And then we have a T, which is 2. There's not enough space to write all this stuff out. Come on, Miss Miller. Uh, 2525. 2525. Five. Seven. Seven. And, and then two. Two. $353.50. Man, we're doing so good. We're on a roll. Number next. Okay, Rico. Put $5,500. Principal. In an account with a 3.5% R. Simple. Rate. Joy put. Ooh. We got two people. 
Let's oh, do different colors. Oh, oh, I don't like it when they confuse me. P. Okay, and an account with a 4% R. simple. After 15 years, so uh, the 15 years goes for Rico and Joy. There. <laughs> how much money? How much more money? More. More. Much more. That's subtraction. Yep. Uh, will Joy have earned an interest, interest than pie. Rico? Okay, so, so we have two people. This is a two for. We get two for one here. So we, we got two for ones. We got to do Rico on one okay. side. Rico is in blue. Rico's in blue, and we're gonna do Joy on the other side. So Rico, she's right in the formula. He started with five thousand five hundred. His rate is three point five over one hundred. And time for everybody's fifteen. So let's find out his first before oh, we move I was on. I'm gonna write it out though. Hang on. Five thousand five hundred. Mother. Three point five and fifteen. So two thousand eight hundred eighty-seven dollars and fifty. I'm putting a little R or a big R for Rico. Rico. What? How much was it? Oh my gosh. Two thousand eight hundred eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay. So now Joy. Okay. Now then Joy's in pink. Joy, 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 down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Okay, so P is 5,500. R is 4 over 100. I bet you she has a better deal. <laughs> no, why? Why? Because that interest rate is higher. I want it. Okay. Same same money. Oops, sorry. Just change the interest rate. Four. Not 30. 34. I pulled a Richards. Okay. 3,300. I love And then we change. said we're subtracting. So I'm taking 3,300 minus. I won't slide. Sorry. 2,887.50. And I get $412.50. Oh my goodness. Four twelve fifty. Look at that! What that half a percent will do for you? Man, pretty cray, pretty cray cray. Okay, Shauna uh, borrowed one hundred fifty dollars. That's the starting amount. P from her friend and promised to pay it back, along with five percent interest. R. She pays her friend back in six months. T. How much more money will Shauna pay her friend in all? Including the money she in owed all. total in her interest. So all total. Oh, and okay. it even tells you that. Okay. So first we gotta find interest though. Yes. So I equals P R T. P is four fifty. Man, this is a good friend for no, me. No, one fifty, one fifty. You wrote over it, I can see. Oh my goodness. I know. Miss Miller. I just messed it up. Right is five over a hundred. And then six months. Can we put months in the formula? No. We so have to put it over 12. Six divided by 12. Ooh. How can you see all that? Okay. 150. And then five. five. And then time is six divided by 12. Can I come up here? Interest is $10. You're wrong. Interest is $3.75. <laughs> But are we done? No, because it's asking for the total. It wants so all we gotta of it. add interest plus principal. So interest plus principal. Three seventy five plus one fifty, which I'm gonna say is one fifty three point seventy five. Correct. Correct. Is that right? That's correct. Good job. Good job, Mr. George. Good job. I'm proud of you. Okay, two more, y'all. Okay. If you put $35, there's my initial, my principal, in an account with 5% simple, how long will it take you to double your money? Do we have a question like that? Should we skip oh, that? I'm looking at number four. It didn't tell us if she was paying simple or compound. Mm -mm. Well, we're doing simple. So. Well, yeah. I was just looking. How much? How long will it take for you to double your money? Yeah. Well, we went 75, right? 60. I mean, 70. Well, double, so that's so times 35 two. 35 times two. So, so we want... 35 eight. times two equals... 70. No, hold on. Pause. We're going to set this up as an equation to put, like, plug into decimals. So we know I equals PRT. So we want the interest to be 35 to double it. Interest okay. earned needs so to be 35. 35. The principal is 35. The rate is 5 over 100. Do we know the time? No, that's what we're that's looking for. That's what we're looking for. So we can plug it into decimals so now. So this side 
on the top, this side on the bottom. How many? That's a lot of work. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. 35. You didn't put Y equals. Thanks. And it's just a number. You have to put Y equals Miss Miller. Come on. I know, I know, I know. 100. Ugh. Press the right arrow key. And then I don't know what this guy is. That's the guy we're looking for. We're looking for T, which is time, but we're going to call it X because we're looking where they cross. But bam, it's the first number, which is 20. So 20, so 20 years for oh my goodness. double the money. Jeez Louise. That's a lot. I'm going to say decimo so we know that's where we took it. Mm, that was a little hard. Six is very hard, too. I, I still like say it. we do it. Okay. This is challenging. We really challenge kids. Okay. Um, you put two thousand dollars, simple, simple, in an account after six and a half years. T. Your balance, so that's the total, total. amount, in an account is two thousand three hundred twenty-five. What is the simple total. interest rate? So we're looking for the rate on the account. So rate. So I equals P R T. But do we know our I? No. No. But we can find it because I know my total, total and my P. Total minus P. So, 2, 3, 2, 5, minus 2, 1,000, which is 3, 2, 5. So, now I know my interest was 3, 2, 5. So, now I can look at this formula over so here. Go, oops, no. So, 3, two, three five. 2, 5 equals principal, which was 2,000. Mm -hmm. We don't know our rate, but we know our time is 6. And a half, so I'm gonna put 6.5. Okay. So again, we're gonna plug it into Desmos. Good practice for go? finding our x's. Oh, no. It's right here. here. You just want me to read it? I was just gonna read it. Sorry. Okay, so three, two, five, and then this guy is 2,000. We don't know our, that. <gasps> Times 6.5. Zoom out. It's going to give us a decimal, but we don't want it in a decimal. I'm really zoomed. I need to... I can't deal with this. She is slacking. That's not right. Am I on the intercept? Keep zooming. Keep zooming. Keep zooming in. Okay, now, 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 click it. Mm, see how tricky that was. Okay, so the first number is point zero two five. But remember, interest rates is always in percent. So in order to go from percent to decimal, I divided by hundred. So what am I gonna do if I'm going from decimal to percent? Multiply. Zero point zero two five times one hundred two point five percent. Ooh, that was tricky. That was tricky. Um, five and six are more challenge questions. Challenge. Challenge questions. Um, if you go back to Google Classroom, there will, oh, we don't have it up yet. But there will be a um, exit ticket for you yeah. to do. Do your so, exit ticket. Bye, y'all. Bye.